phantoms, alcohol takes into high level, performance will go. That's one very, very famous uh, link image is there. It increases the, this one, but in the during the performance, he utterly fails. So alcohol, smoking, all these things have to be limited. And obesity, it has to be limited. So good exercise, a good exercise, especially walk at least 2,000 steps before going to the bed. The adrenaline increases and uh, the testosterone increases. You will perform very well in the bed also. So by doing regular exercise, and uh, reducing the weight, keeping the body mass index within 20 to 25 in a long run, it makes your sexual life more happy and premature ejaculation will come to control. So lifestyle modification is the first one. Observe what the status is and try to change the lifestyle habit. Counseling, he explained them that the stress level has to be decreased and exercise, regular exercise, involve the partner, explain them that a good sex will always be very good for your rest of the life. So try to see that the PE is treated and connect with a partner also, talk about the problem and try to solve the problem. The first thing in the behavioral therapy is the stop, start, tackle. That's all. Begin the sexual activity, build up the stimulation. When you are in the plateau phase, Withdraw from the sexual activity, go back to the epo level, that is a desire level, again go to the plateau level, go back. One step forward, one step backward. Don't rush. So start, stop technique. And once, once you are done with it, once, okay, then release the trigger and go to the horizon. That is the start, stop technique. This can be very well practiced by yoga and meditation. So, attention diversion, stopping the activity, diverting for the attention to something else. So it's just remember what the previous day happened, how your boss had shouted at you, how your mother-in-law had uh, shouted about you. So immediately your attention goes to that. And the sexual activity will come down. So try to remember something very bad, your attention is diverted. The next one is squeeze technique. You can squeeze either the glands penis or even you can see the, they ask the partner to squeeze the testicles very lightly, not too much, otherwise uh, you will go to the heaven. So, <laughs> don't go to the directly or ask her to pull the scrotum a little bit or pinch it or even pinch the inner side of the thighs. So these squeeze techniques, because of that squeeze, suddenly the plateau level continues, orgasm level comes down and there will be a little more extra time for you. Repeat this for a few times. Once you are getting very well tried, you can practice it continuously. And once you are very well tried, without that also you can do it. It's just like cycling or swimming. We require cycling or swimming, so if there's somebody to hold the cycle till you learn the cycling. Swimming, you want all those gadgets till you learn the swimming. Like that, these behavioral techniques, once you learn very well, no need of squeezing the uh, pinching. You will carry on. Mind diversion. See, he's thinking about something else. Observe the, this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah he, he is not looking at her. He, he, he is totally say, thinking something different. So his attention is diverted. So he will continue with the activity. Kegel exercise. This is very, very important. Pelvic muscle flooring. Flow, flow, pelvic floor muscles. If you tighten them very nicely, you will have a better control. They are just like triggers, triggers for your horse and bull at uh, this one. So you can go on controlling them. So good Kegel exercise, yoga, meditation. And this Kegel exercise has to be done repeatedly. Wherever when you are going in the metro or the train or the bus, start. Of course, somebody will observe you, be careful. <laughs> so without seeing that, that uh, nobody observes you. So start, it's very easy. <laughs> Even here, now itself we can start doing. Because nobody is looking at you. Everybody is looking at you. So this Kijal exercise, if you practice very well, within three months, you get the control of the pelvic floor muscles. Once you get a good tone on the pelvic floor muscles, you have the control of the ejaculation also. And yoga and meditation. Meditation, of course, is a very, very useful tool. Yoga, especially yoga of the which yeah, affects the pelvic floor and the pelvic region, lower abdomen region. All the yoga asanas 
which involve this uh, lower part of the body, they are excellent treatment for the premature ejaculation and meditation also. If during meditation, what, what you are going to do? Again, you are diverting your attention. You will immediately start uh, thinking about the God and this one, one Shiva, one Shiva. So you will forget this one and you go this one. And the penis will come down a little bit. And uh, you leave the one, one Shiva and again start the way. <laughs> Simple. So meditation is one of the best treatment. It is nothing but the concentration. What you do is practical. You have to concentrate upon something. Because you cannot concentrate upon the um, uh, vacuum. You, we are even going to give something to you to hold and so, so to see that you practice this Tarataka by concentrating on one, something X, Y, and Z. And masturbation. Just about one or two hours before the regular sexual activity, if one does the masturbation and goes, already is dry, where else is the power? So there is no power in He can't stop. Because that extra energy is not there, so you will not be in a hurry. But be careful, huh? this masturbation works only for the young people. Uh, for a 50 plus man, if you ask him to do masturbation and go, another three days will not come back. <laughs> because the refractive period varies. For an 18 years boy, it is only 18 minutes. In the next 18 minutes, if a new partner is available, we will be ready. Of course, new partner, not with the same partner. <laughs> and at the 20s or 30s, he requires one or two hours to again get up. And if he is in 30s, he requires at least 24 hours to again get up. So, when you ask them to do the masturbation, ask them what refractive period can they can have. Otherwise, they will be in soup. They will come next day. Sir, you asked me to do the masturbation. I did masturbation and I came back. It never stood up, sir. So they will blame you. So we have to be careful in advising the masturbation. And condoms. There are several types of condoms. Thick condoms. Don't go for ultra thin condoms. Oh, very near the skin. Those advertisements come in. Huh? No, no. They don't work. Regular, earlier, neuroth. Thick latex. They work excellently because a lot of space will be there between the skin and the vaginal skin so that that sensation will come down. And there are lubricated condoms. And there are condoms which have been lubricated with the xylocaine inside. So when you wear the condom, that xylocaine which is there in the inner layer of the, this one, that will bring down the sensation of the penis. And be careful, huh? the penis itself will go down because there will be no sensation on all this work only for those who have got very good direction. If they have ED, advising them they, any of this one, you will be in soon. So we have to be careful before advising them these uh, types of condoms. And local anesthetics. They are available in sprays, they are available as creams, they are combinations.